a bit, we've been talking about different Excel date functions. Uh, now we're going to kind of combine our knowledge into a problem that a client of mine had where we essentially imported a bunch of data. There's a whole ton of rows here. Um, and the date got imported from another program with a dot in between, let's say, the month, the day, and the year. And what we want is we actually want to convert this to a date format because I want to be able to sort it properly. I might want to be able to format the date, these types of things. So we talked about a function called date value. And in some cases, it would be as simple as saying date value of that cell and away we go. Problem is, Excel does not recognize this as a date. Um, or as an acceptable date format that's just in text. So we can't use date value. Date value just isn't going to work for this. What I need to do is I need to use that function we talked about uh, earlier as well called date. And the date function, I give it the three pieces, right? I give it the, the, uh, the year, the month, and the day, and then it will put it into a date. So what I need to do is I need to extract the month, the day, and the year from this text string. So how you're going to do that, we'll start with year, okay? In a previous video, we talked about a function called write. And write is going to grab a certain number of characters from the right-hand side of a text field. If you need more explanation about the write function, please go look at my video for that. So I'm going to say equals write of that date cell, and I want four characters, which would be the last four um, characters, which is the four digits of the year. And I'm going to hit enter. So that handles the year. I've got that piece that I can use in my date function. Let's do month next. And month's going to be a bit trickier. We'd think, okay, let's just do this. Let's just do equals the left of this. And the month has been abbreviated to three characters. So I'm just going to get the three characters, hit enter, and away we go. No problem. If I fill this down, it seems to be working great. Problem is, that date formula does not accept text-based uh, month. I need it as a number. It needs to be a number. So this becomes a, a little bit trickier. We could do this with a VLOOKUP. I could have a, a, a separate table that identified what number for what month. But I kind of want to do this clean without any extra tables. So we're going to use a function. And here's what it would look like. I am going to first um, take this and essentially attach a space and a one to it. So we can use our concatenate operator and then in quotes, I'm gonna put a space and a one indicating the first of that month, first day of that month, essentially. I'm gonna hit enter, you see I get April one. Now this is an acceptable date format, which means I could now wrap this whole thing in a date value function. And that should give me the day. Perfect. So this is kind of now an acceptable date, which means that I could also extract the month out of this. So I'm going to wrap this whole thing in month. So I'm saying, give me the month of this text that's being converted to a date, which was already a month. We knew that. We had to add the one to it to actually make that date value function work. We can't just do date value of APR in this case. So you can see that by doing this, by attaching the space in the one, it becomes an acceptable format to use in date value. And I've now extracted the month. The day is going to be a bit trickier. So with the day, there's single digit days and double digit days, obviously. So what I need to do is I'm going to need to use these consistent operators that are dividing our items here. And so what I'm going to say is I would like the middle because we have a function called mid and that one uh, is also in a, in a video. So if I did equals mid open bracket, this is the text. I'd like to start at position five. So all characters are numbered left to right. One, two, three, four, five would be the first digit of the day. So I like to start at position five. And then how many characters do I want? Well, this depends. It depends uh, if it's a single digit or a double digit. So what we're going to do, um, what we're going to use in order to get this to work is I'm just going to use a find function. We'll talk about this in another video. There's going to be a couple ways to do this, but I'm going to find the dot within this text. 
So basically I'm asking it to find the dot, but I want to find the second dot. So I'm going to tell it to start at position five. So starting at the first digit of the day, find the dot. And what the find function returns is the number, is the position. So you'll notice this first one's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. This is going to get me the number six. So how many characters do I want? Well, I want that minus five. And the great thing about this is it's gonna work for this next one. Let's just practice this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, minus five is two. And that's how many digits are in that day. So this will extract the day for me, as you can see. And now that I have this date broken apart into its three individual pieces, well, we can use the date function we learned earlier. So I could say the year is here, the month is here, and the day is here. And if you want to know more about the date function, you can go watch the video about that. It was a couple days ago, I think, maybe even yesterday. And then uh, when we hit enter to this, there's the date, this date, which originally was text, but it's in a little bit complicated uh, text to convert to a date. So we had to use a variety of functions to actually convert it. Now you could absolutely do this all in one shot. You don't have to do these individual pieces. I did that to break it apart so we kind of understand what was happening. Um, we could put this thing as an entire function that would then look like this, which is essentially just taking this function, putting it in the month part, this function, putting in the day part, this function, putting in the year part of that date function. So hopefully that's helped some of you out there. It can be useful when we're playing around trying to convert these text-based dates into an actual date in Excel.